Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so when it comes to day trading we traders face many different types of moves that are being given by by the various stocks right now some stocks open very strong and then for the rest of the day they remain sideways some stocks open flat, but as the time passes by, they gain strength and start moving either in the upward direction or in the downward direction. Like this, you will get n number of types of moves that the stocks will show you. Now, among those different kinds of moves that the stocks show us, one type of move is where the stock actually moves very strongly in one direction. And that move sustains for a short period of time. These type of moves are called as impulsive moves and according to me, these are the most dangerous moves that a trader struggle to handle. Okay, forget about handling. You won't even get time to take the right entry and to put a right stop loss. Okay, to be precise, most of the traders fail to understand what really happened. Why did the stock give such a wild move? And most importantly, from a trading perspective, will the stock be able to sustain this move or will it retrace? This, this is the main confusion that the impulsive moves bring brings in. Okay, to take an example, we can consider the move that star gave on 26th march 2021 that is last friday okay following the 15 minutes time frame the impulsive move was given at 2 30 pm indian standard time and it kept moving up till 3 pm indian standard time i mean it was a huge move the move was from 786 rupees to 892 rupees uh 106 points move for a 800 rupees script was insane i mean in day trading when we are into intraday trading for a 800 rupees script even if we catch a eight to nine rupees move that's a great deal now imagine a move of 106 rupees that's insane that's crazy right now coming to the main point how do we handle this when i say how do we handle this i mean how do we trade this as an intraday trader so for this video we will only consider the example of star that was in a bullish run and then it gave that impulsive move okay now if you are already in a long position then it would be a lottery for you as you will get to book a big profit because of this impulsive move but here the question is not about being in the trade already the question is what would you do if you are not in that trade already and you see that move happening i'm sure most of the retail traders would jump into the trade which is obviously not a good thing to do and the reason why they will jump in is because when a retail trader sees such moves the entire mentality changes in seconds the thought that goes through the mind is that i can earn a good profit in less amount of time they totally forget about the loss perspective they become absolutely optimistic about that particular trade and the result is known to everyone out there because at some point in time we all would have taken such trades and we all would have surely faced the losses yeah well if you ask me the baseline is if you are a trader then you are expected to be disciplined and if you are disciplined then you should not be taking up these kind of trades anyways okay so this is one kind of a trader who is doing all the right things by avoiding this trade now let's talk about a trader who assumes that this impulsive move will sustain and he or she will be able to make out some money from that move so they will make a random long entry 
let's take a worst case scenario and let's consider that when the long entry was made the entry price was taken at the top of the of the 230 pm candle okay okay let's bring up the chart here so that it is more clear i have prepared the picture for that in just a moment right so this is the 15 minutes minutes chart for star as you can see on the left top corner star is the script name and 15 minutes is the time frame okay and these two candles are the ones that i'm talking about okay this candle is the 2:30 pm ist candle and this candle is the 2:45 pm indian standard time candle okay so this is the move i'm talking about okay so the price would be somewhere around 836 okay so the high of this particular 2:30 pm candle uh, was around uh, 836 okay when the long entry was made so you have made the long entry and now the 2:45 pm candle has started okay so the moment you made the entry at the top of this 2:30 candle this candle closed and the next candle started that is the 2:45 pm candle okay now obviously we will not be sure at this juncture that star will extend the move further in the upward direction right and if you see the charts when the 2:45 pm candle started it started with being red and then it went up higher and became green okay so the first thing that you should be doing in such impulsive moves is that you draw a fibonacci retracement and i am asking to do this so that you can decide your stop loss okay that's the most important point because if the stock can zoom up like this then it can come down the same way as well okay so a support level knowing a support level becomes very critical here so that you will be able to put a proper stop loss okay now once that is done you can wait for the stock price to move up further if the move uh, if it moves up as per your anticipation it's well and good and if it hits your stop loss then also it's good as you were anyways mentally prepared for taking that particular hit okay so this is the 230 candle let me just quickly explain again so this is the 230 candle this is the 245 candle the moment you took the entry at the 230 candle in the worst case uh, case scenario let's say that it took your long entry at the top of the 230 candle and then the 230 candle closed and the 245 candle started so the first thing that you need to do here is to immediately draw a fibonacci retracement this entire thing that you are seeing here is the fibonacci retracement okay and just to cover quickly how do you draw a fibonacci retracement in a 15 minutes time frame you join the day's low to the recent day's high so this is the day's low and which one is the recent day's high the 2 30 pm candles sorry the 2 30 pm candle will be the recent days high because the 245 candle has just started it has not closed so you cannot take this as the recent days high okay so the 230 candles high will be the recent high okay so you draw it from the days low to the recent days high that is how you draw the fibonacci retracement and then you get your support levels here okay so you know that this at this price point the, uh, the star can retrace back till this particular price point and then it can move up further or it will breach this particular support level and start falling but knowing that first support level becomes very important in such type of impulsive moves okay so i hope you got it okay let's get back to the uh presentation here in just a moment okay so so basically in this scenario star actually moved up okay but be reminded that it won't happen every time most of the time in such impulsive moves the stock prices start retracing and the retracement level can be till anywhere okay so it might come down till half of the move and then start moving up again or it might also come down to the level from where the impulsive move started okay and then keep falling further you never know anything can happen 
okay so no one can actually be sure because normally these kind of moves happen because of some news outcome or because of the operator's participation and if you are a trader then you should be knowing that news based trading is the worst form of trading especially if you are into intraday trading yeah so if you have already made an entry then fibonacci retracement retracement might help okay i'm not saying that it will work 100% of the time okay because my suggestion to you is to avoid these kind of moves not to even think of trading such moves okay but in the best case scenarios if at all you have taken the entry if you are not able to control yourself if you are uh, indisciplined if you are an indisciplined trader okay if let's say that you have taken a long entry so the best thing that you can do here is to first draw the fibonacci retracement okay and that might be helpful okay that's the best option that i see but again let me remind you that if you are trading such moves then you are not trading i would call it a gamble okay so it's you who should be deciding whether such moves should be traded or not does they does it really worth to be traded okay and one more perspective to impulsive moves is that you need to forget about the support and resistance levels because they will just not respect anything they will not respect anything at all okay if the move is in the upward direction they won't respect any resistances and if the move is in the downward direction they won't respect any support levels okay so you need to also forget about placing a proper stop loss as per the risk management okay because if the move is not respecting the support and resistance levels then it's obvious that the stop loss will be hit for sure and as i just said it will be a gamble and it will not be a trade so be careful guys and just to repeat my suggestion to you all is to not to trade such moves because i can bet on the fact that if you ignore these kind of trades you will get multiple opportunities to take up further trades where a proper technical setup can be found so why to unnecessarily raise your blood pressure you are getting the point right i mean if you are getting the point uh then it's fine and if you're not getting the point then also it's fine i mean what else can i say right so uh, uh that's it that's it from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i would put uh, i have uh, put in the video card on the top right corner of this video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you might get some more information about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries in uh, if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to you and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye